up the cute gang welcome back to another video y'all today is sunday it is july 30th right in the day the last day of the month yeah you said july 1st i said july 30th july 31st Oh, it's July 31st, y'all. It's the last day of the month. We are getting it in today. We woke up early, 9 o'clock, and we're about to go outside, run some sprints, and then get our day started. So I just wanted to come on here and tell you that I'm sticking to my goal, y'all. I really am so proud of me um, because I'm forcing myself to do these. Like, no, I'm not in the mood. I don't like to run, first of all. But I'm doing this because I have to do it. I'm doing this because consistency gets results. That's the only way to keep me motivated is if I know, like, at the end of the day, I'm going to look a different way, I'm going to feel a different way, and I'm going to be healthier, you know? So I'm trying to speak to it. But anyway, we got my baby in the back, who's my coach. Say what's up, dude. So, um, what are we doing other than sprints? I don't know. You might have a sprint. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I disregard my hair. It looks a mess, but I ain't feel like doing it a different way. I just want to go ahead and get this workout out of the way because, y'all, like I said, I don't look forward to it. I just got to do it. I got a whole lot of other stuff planned, so I really need to get this workout over and done with so I can jump in the shower and put on some clothes and had to do the other stuff that I have to do. So I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. I guess we'll give you a quick glimpse of our workout. So we'll see you then. Y'all, every time I come outside, I'm instantly happy all over again. Cause I get to see my truck that my baby bought me. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all another quick glimpse. I know y'all probably tired of seeing this truck, but I'm happy. I love my truck. So y'all gonna see it too. There she is. There is Frosty. Babe, thank you. Thank you. What's up? No problem, man. But it's time to get it in. It'd be transparent. Like, the really? I mean, you could say I bought the truck, but without her, we wouldn't have nothing we got. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody thinking like, you ain't no bread. You know yeah. I, you know what I, mean? I do like. We went in together. It takes two, like, I'm, and I'm talking about everything. Even the treadmill, like anything, like I don't know that trash. You know what I'm saying? We we do everything together. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. But I guess you could say because if if it wasn't for me, now we probably wouldn't have that truck. For real, but. We'll oh yeah. I don't want nobody to be thinking like you know people always think that women. On bread, winners or the women can't do things on their own, or a woman always got to depend on a man. And with you, that's not the case. You don't depend on me. We depend on each other. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can do all this on your own if you wanted to. Yeah. But the fact that I got you, you got me, meaning that I can go to a meeting and buy yeah it just makes everything easier when you got two income well the limit is two when you have at least two incomes i say that you got two hustlers together to come together to build an empire that makes everything work out you can have a lot more absolutely anyway that's all i'm gonna say because i'm all about woman empowerment too even though i'm a man i like to see women but that's a good thing though, cause not just that. Like you all about being real, yep, so and a lot of people can appreciate yep. your transparency. Cause the thing about it, you got some women doing everything on their own, they're on the internet, saying man, but so they feel like that's what you're supposed to see. Yeah, you're right about that. That's a whole other video. <laughs> I know y'all be like, done, done, all those bags of women and men and women who let they man. I don't know. I just don't think. It's not. It's okay. Speak your truth. All right. Like that says, y'all, we're about to get it in. No excuses. And I ain't really feeling it. I can't lie, but your girl got a little snatched by the time we go on vacation for my baby. Y'all, I've been doing the skincare um, routine. I got done doing it, too. Y'all, my skin looks so different. It's brighter. Like, I had hyperpigmentation that's going away. I had some like right here, and they were dark, dark, like dark circles. But those are going away, they're fading. Like this one was real dark, y'all, yeah, it was black, like, just like the shirt. But it's going away now. 
and I had some more that are like completely gone. But yeah, it's working. I'll share my skincare um, routine with y'all one day. Dani and I should do like a get ready with us or like a daily routine or something. I don't know. We might put that out. Um, let us know. Comment down below and let us know if you're interested in seeing that. But baby and I got a date right now with the treadmill and these weights, right? Yeah, we're gonna do a little 20 minute hit session. Like you said, you, you, got, you got somewhere to be. All right, y'all, let me. Make it quick. All right, well, let's get to it. <laughs> We ain't got the Honda fixed yet, gang. I think it's August 24th, man, when they gonna fix it. I can't wait, though. Black woman know she's short. That's why I got her, though. Because she was tall, she probably could whoop me. It's hot. Oh, yeah, I was looking for the bug spray, you know what I'm saying, the spray to get the bugs off, but I don't see that in here. I'm to get that another time. This air freshener right here, man, it smells amazing, so I'm going to put that in the whip. And I got this right here, so I can get that brake dust off the tires and stuff. Yeah, let's rock out. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> what it do, man? So, I might need street, man. I might need trench, man. I'm headed to the hood. Gotta drop off a brick and ride in the Honda, so won't nobody notice me. That's why I'm in the Honda. I gotta stay low key, you know what I'm saying? If I would've got in the Beamer, you know, the police would've pulled me over. I got about four, five bricks in the trunk. Nah, I'm just playing. Y'all know I'm just playing. But anyway, I'm on the way to the car wash, man. Every Sunday, I like to clean up the cars because I never know what corner's gonna drive through the week. Cause she got choices, you know what I'm saying? Corner got choices, you know what I'm saying? My baby got choices, real choices. Yeah, I never know what she wanna drive, so I tend to clean up all the cars on Sunday, but for right now, I'm just gonna clean the Honda up, cause y'all know we just bought the Beamer. Just grabbed the brand new X4 M40i. Big boy, off the lot, know what I'm saying? Showroom flow, no gizzy. You did what I'm saying? But yeah, we just grabbed that one so it don't have to be clean. But the Honda, I haven't cleaned it since uh the guy rear-ended us. You know what I'm saying? I've been really scared to go to the car wash it. I'm just playing. I'm just lying. Done. Stop lying, done. This is your fault. Man. Don't lie to them, bro. You know what I'm saying, man? I ain't scared of them. But God in corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, no doubt. But anyway, that is an ugly car right there. Y'all saw it. Ugly car. But anyway, um... Yeah, I'm headed to the car wash, man, so I can clean up the Honda and get the Honda ready because I think this is what Kwana's going to be driving mostly next week. I know she's going to push the Beamer probably once, you know what I'm saying? But the Beamer is not our daily driver. We didn't buy the Beamer to be a daily driver. We bought the Beamer to stunt. I'm, I'm just being real. I told y'all I'm going to be transparent. We bought the Beamer to stunt, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to pull the Beamer out when it's time to stunt. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm going to go clean up the Honda, man. But, uh... I just want to I just want to talk to y'all right quick all jokes aside man and this is what I want to tell you guys you know what I'm saying this is a relationship channel 
You know what I'm saying? I can talk dreams and all that all day, but if you really want to hear me talk about chasing dreams and stuff like that, follow my Instagram, kingdom underscore seven. But this is a relationship channel, so I want to get some relationship advice. You know what I'm saying? I want to. I, I, I like. I like to see people be in a relationship for a long time. You did what I'm saying, and this is what I want to say, man. If you're in a relationship, bro, or sis, whatever, you gotta believe in your relationship, man. And you also gotta believe in your spouse. Y'all gotta believe in each other. Y'all gotta make it work with each other. You dig what I'm saying? It can't be one person trying to make it work. The other person isn't. You know what I'm saying? It can't be tit for tat. It can't be none of that. It gotta be 50-50, man. Y'all gotta make it work together. That go for anything, really. When you're talking about belief, you gotta believe in each other. And you also gotta believe in yourself. The thing about it is, man, a lot of us tend to want other people to believe in us. We want other people to believe in what we got going on. When the truth is... They ain't got to believe in that you got going on. It's nobody obligated right to believe in you. It's nobody's obligated right to believe in your relationship. Man, I'm going to be real with you, man. When me and Corner was coming up, man, me and Corner were like catching dogs, bro. I'm going to be real. I know y'all done heard us say that before, man. It's like we couldn't get along for nothing. But one thing we knew, we knew we loved each other. We knew we had a dying love for each other because we couldn't stay away from one another. So my mama, her mama, my daddy... Uncles and everybody like, man, y'all just need to call it quick. Y'all need to stop. Y'all ain't good for each other. Y'all toxic. But we were like, nah. Yeah, we are toxic, but we believe in each other. <laughs> the belief outweighed the toxicity. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so I just want to say, man, when it comes to your relationship, when it comes to your dreams, when it comes to anything that takes belief, believe in yourself first. Believe in yourself first. Y'all believe in each other first, man. And I promise you, you're going to make it. Whatever you want out of life, you're going to have it, man. You dig what I'm saying? And to all the fellas out there, man, if you want to have life and have it more abundant, number one, trust God. Believe in God. And number two, get you a woman on your side who's going to be on your side no matter what. And don't mistreat her. Treat her like gold. You know what I'm saying? Treat her like some shit that's hard to find because it is, my guy. I ain't telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got partners who they can't find a good woman for nothing. Even if they think she good, she lazy as hell. She don't want to cook. She don't want to clean. She don't want to do shit. She don't believe in it. You know what I'm saying? So if you're lucky enough to have your woman who going to cook clean, wash your dirty draw. You know what I'm saying? And believe in you all at the same time, my nigga. Why wouldn't you treat that with delicacy? Why wouldn't you treat that like a queen, man? Why wouldn't you treat that like it's hard to come by, my dog? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Now I'm going to start talking to y'all, man. Cause I can't be driving and vlogging, man. That ain't good. That ain't good for nobody. So I'm gonna put this camera down, man. I'm finna go to the car wash, clean out the whip, and hopefully by the time I clean out the whip, corner be back home, man. We can go get our day started. Probably go have some lunch, then go grocery shopping, man. Then bring it back to the crib. Get ready for next week. You feel me? Y'all make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you get a notification when we drop these bangers. Let's get to this car wash, though. Yeah, gang, so I made it to the car wash, man, but I'm going to spray this on the tire before I go so I can get them tired clean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. It's called engineering, though. You got to learn how to engineer stuff. Yeah. That's y'all problem. Y'all don't know how to engineer. Y'all know how to engineer. Let's get it. DQ gang, I'm finally back, y'all. I've been out shopping, like really, really shopping. But one of my homegirls, one of my real close friends, like we went and got some stuff for school just to be ready for the week. And we went to Sam's and did a little grocery shopping as well. So now I'm headed home. Y'all, I really can't wait to get with my baby, y'all. I really miss my baby already. I don't know if y'all like that or not, but like, when I'm away from Dunn, I miss him. I crave him. Like, I want to be with him. That's just one of my love languages. I love spending quality time. But anyway, we have a lot planned. So as soon as I get home, we're going to do some grocery shopping. Because I have to meal prep. Like, I plan all my meals early this morning. So now I just got to go get whatever foods I put on my list. And I got to prepare them. I got to cook everything. But anyway, I'm going to see y'all when I get to the house. Cause I don't want to hold the phone. Like I don't have a setup in here. I need to be working on it to get a setup so I can vlog while I'm in the car. Yeah, what's that? So said this right. I'm playing space, right? 
When I go low, you know what I'm saying? I did low. I'm right, my partner. Okay, if you was my partner, coming down below, what would you do? If I did low, I did before you, and I went low, would you be low? No, they fall down there. They from the back. What? They do down there from the back, man. What would you do? If you be low? Yeah. I'm going to be whatever I got in my hand. What if, if you I have, have nothing, nothing? What would you do? I'm going to be at least two. You got to be at something because that means you got to catch me. If both of us be at low, they going to catch I'm one gonna, of us. I, I'm going to be at what I got in my hand. Probably about two or three. So what if you ain't got no space and I be at low? That means I'm going to have to use the hearts and queens and other suits. But would you be loaded? But would you be loaded? Hey, what's going on? How's this house like? How you think it look open? Is somebody trying to open it? Or it might be just big. Yeah, we rock with the light kind, gang. Less calories. It is. But anyway, you said if I went low, you wouldn't go low though. Even if you felt like you couldn't get a book. Baby, I didn't even know you're supposed to do this. So you don't even know nothing about going low and high and none of that. Yeah, I know about bidding, but I thought it's based on what you see in your hand. Yeah, but honestly, if I go low, that means you're going to have to catch me no matter what. So that means you're going to get some books. Okay. That means I got to count some of the cards that I didn't expect to win. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I'm next. If you went low and I felt like I ain't had no space, I'd bid at least three or four. But the simple fact that the people we playing gonna be trying to catch me too. So that means they gonna be throwing out all they low cards. Why are you so teaching that me this? I'm teaching them. Because they might be some of the ones I'm playing on my spade there. So they don't want you cut from that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So what I was game, I went low, and then we had somebody else go. I had, they went low with me. I didn't like that. Anyway, man, we grocery shopping up. Can't spit cold. Yeah, we just picking up a couple of things so we can meal prep for the week. But yeah. Let's get to it. All right, gang. So we gotta get some Tupperware, cause we meal prepping at least until Wednesday, I think. Here they go, right here, one. It's the bones that I had before. You didn't see the ones I had. I see one for a dollar. I got no, but one for a dollar. What? What's that? And you gonna touch it? It's a lighter thing. I'm dizzy. Mm -mm. Mine were a little more sturdy. Elaborate. Elaborate. It's elaborate. Mine are more sturdy. Elaborate. Elaborate. Yes, elaborate. Mine are myself. What about this? I like a bento box. What about these? Eight dollars. That's not what I need. Oh. She said that ain't what she need, gang, so I don't know what we gonna do, but we meal prepping, you did. And I gotta get a battery, gang, for the garage opener. Man, it battery, four dollars, bro. Double five. Ain't got nothing cheap. When the batteries become four dollars. Guess I gotta get this one, gang. All right, gang, so this is what I'm prepping for breakfast. I got some oatmeal. That's 40 grams of oatmeal, y'all. And I got some granola and 100 grams of blueberries. And y'all, that's not all. I know that's a lot, and I'm probably going to be full after I eat that. But I still got to eat this, which is like some chicken sausage. And, oh, no, they didn't have chicken sausage, so I had to get the regular sausage. But my baby picked it out, and the macros are good. Um, and I got eggs, y'all. This is two eggs. All right, so let me show you my lunch. All right, y'all, so I had to clean my lettuce so many times, y'all. The water kept being dirty after, so finally got it clean and got my salad in the bowl. So this is what I'm going to have for lunch. I'm going to do 100 grams of lettuce in the chicken salad. I had some stuff that I'm gonna put in my chicken salad. That's gonna make it bomb, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all see like everything that I have when it's finally done. But yeah, your girl is ready for tomorrow. Well, I'm ready for the whole week because that's what I'm prepping for. I'm prepping for the whole week. And this is just meal number two, y'all. So let me go ahead and show you meal number three. 
<laughs> All right, y'all, so this is what I have for dinner. I have four ounces of chicken breast, and I have six broccoli florets. Really, you don't have to measure your broccoli because it's not a lot of calories anyway. But I did measure it on my fitness pad this week just because I just really want to accurate count of what all i'm taking in what all i'm consuming y'all i got a feeling like this week is gonna be good i got a feeling like with a plan i will be more apt to stay on my diet i'll be more apt to do right you know i'm not really anxious to see how this goes but yeah y'all so that's all my food that i prepped for the week and your girl about to get them done because i am tired all right, gang, so y'all, I finally get to sit down. Y'all, I'm so tired. I've been working all day. I've been working tirelessly around the clock trying to prepare for the week. But you know what? There are benefits to that. Because next week, I won't have to cook. I really won't have to think about what I'm going to eat. Like, I already got a plan. I already got everything prepped out. All I got to do is just get up, grab stuff and be on my way, which is really good. And I definitely don't like to be bothered with cooking. If not, I might have to cook like small stuff because I don't think Dundee's gonna wanna you know, eat what I cook all week long. But then again, Dundee is self-sufficient, so he might just get in here and do his own thing. But y'all, night has come to an end, so I gotta end the vlog. But I am gonna see you guys in the next video, which more than likely is gonna be tomorrow. Make sure you comment, make sure you like, make sure you and make sure you got your post notifications turned on. See you in the next video, guys. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand. And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability. They want the credit. Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours it takes to get some power